Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean my brushes, taking them from looking all nasty and dirty to looking brand new. I recommend cleaning your brushes once a week just because there is a lot of old makeup built up on these brushes, dirt, oil, dead skin, and bacteria, and all these things contribute to making us break out. So make sure you guys are cleaning your brushes at least once a week. Now I know I'm not the best at this, but that is the goal that I aim for is washing my brushes once a week just so we can prevent any breakouts. If you guys want to learn how I clean my brushes specifically, let's continue on into the video. And if you guys are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Now the items that I use to clean my brushes, I have my antibacterial soap. So you want to make sure that you have antibacterial soap. And then I use an argan oil to keep my brushes fresh and not dry out. And then I have rubbing alcohol and then brush cleaner. And then I have this brush egg. So what it has is some texture on it. And this is to help really get that deep clean with my brushes. And then I have a bowl to mix the antibacterial soap and the argan oil together And then I'm also going to show you guys how to spot treat your brushes as well And then I have a cutting board to hang my brushes upside down on To mix my stuff I'm going to go ahead and pour in some antibacterial soap And then I'm just going to put a little bit of argan oil in there And then I'm just going to mix that with the back of the brush I like to put less argan oil just because it does create a lot of moisture for the brush I don't want my brushes to be overpowered by argan oil so I'm gonna have more parts of antibacterial soap than oil. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my brush real quick, the one that I'm cleaning, and I'm gonna wet the brush egg as well. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into our little mix and then I'm just gonna rub my brush gently on the back of this brush egg. And you see how a lot of that dirt and bacteria and everything is just coming off. And I like using this spot up here too, just cause it really does get in those hairs. Now Sigma does have a large like mat that you can set in your sink. I would probably prefer buying that over this brush egg. I got this brush egg off of Amazon for only a couple dollars. So if you're like on a budget, you can go ahead and get that. But I think the brush mat from Sigma is about 20-ish dollars. So it's just really up to you what your preference is. So you can tell that my brush is already looking a lot more cleaner. I'm just gonna go ahead and run my brush just a second time just to make sure that I really did get everything. And as you can tell, the soap is looking a whole lot cleaner. So I just like to do it twice just to make sure that I have gotten everything out of my brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that with the rest of our brushes as well. And then once I am done, I'm gonna hang it on the cutting board upside down. So now I'm just gonna pinch off some of that water off from the brush. And then you wanna make sure that you are cleaning your handles as well. So to clean the handles on my brushes, I'm gonna be taking my rubbing alcohol and spraying that on the handle and wiping it off. So I'm gonna hold my brush like this and I'm just gonna spray. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some tissue paper just cause that's the nearest thing next to me. You can use paper towel or whatever to do that. But now I have a clean brush and my handle is sanitized. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hang it upside down on my cutting board. This is going to prevent any bacteria or anything from clinging to the brush if we were to lay it just flat down. And hanging the brush upside down also does make it dry a little bit faster. So that's just my preference. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush next. And you can tell that this is super dirty. It has a lot of foundation in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip that into my mix. I added a little bit of water. We're just gonna go ahead and rub that on the back. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt that's coming off. And then I'm just gonna dip it in a second time just to make sure that it is absolutely clean. As you can see, the soap is coming out white. So that means we got all the foundation out. And look how much cleaner that looks, you guys. It looks brand spanking new and I am obsessed. Make sure to pinch out the water and just kind of reshape the brush back and then go ahead and spray that with the rubbing alcohol. And then just go ahead and hang that to dry. All right, so after I've gotten all my brushes clean, I just have a couple last things that I need to clean. This is my Baramona color switch, and this is just like a sponge. This allows me to use the same brush, but use a different color. So hence why it's called the color switch. I really love this a lot, and it's really helpful in a sense of not having to actually clean my brush when I'm changing colors. So we're gonna go ahead and wash this. And then we're gonna go ahead and wash my cosmetic sponge as well. So this, I literally just... And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put some soap in it. And then we're just gonna squeeze everything out. And then what I like to do is I sanitize both of those and then I just let them dry. 
And we're just going to go ahead and move on to my cosmetic sponge. Now to clean this, I'm going to get it fully dampened and I'm going to add some soap into it. And we're just going to wring it out until there's no more makeup coming out of it. I'm just going to add some soap. I see how all that makeup is coming out. We're just going to wring that out until nothing comes out. All right, so I've already cleaned out this dish. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit in there to dry out. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to spot clean your brushes. So I have this really dirty brush that is built up with foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and take my daily brush cleaner from Sephora. You can take any brush cleaner that you want. This is just the one that I have on hand. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and spray the brush with the brush cleaner. Make sure you get it nice and moist. And then you're gonna go to your towel and you're just gonna rub off the product. And you're just gonna repeat this until nothing comes off the brush. Now, if you're cleaning your brushes every day, it shouldn't take this many attempts to get it clean. Usually at this point, you're just gonna wanna wash your brush completely. But as you can see, it is a whole lot more cleaner. So once you are done spotting your brush, you're just gonna take your rubbing alcohol and spray that so that it is nice and sanitized and just let it dry. And then it's good for the next use. And then you're just gonna let your brushes dry overnight and you guys are all finished. And that is just how I clean my brushes. These ones I just had to set on a towel real quick. I don't have enough room for them to hang Dry, but I highly recommend that you have your brushes hanged upside down so that they dry better and don't build up bacteria while they're drying. I hope you guys enjoyed watching how I wash my brushes personally and if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below. You guys have an amazing day and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Have a good day guys. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this Belle inspired look for my Disney series. 